Okay, so yeah, I'm going to be talking about NATS.io, and this is a messaging queue system, so probably some of you all have heard of RabbitMQ, maybe? Anybody hear of RabbitMQ? Anybody know what Kafka is? So NATS is another one. Anybody heard of NATS? Yeah, that's a couple of us. All right. So what I want to talk about, um, I work for Legacy Bank, and one of the things we're working on is some new microservice infrastructure. And as part of that, we're looking into uh, messaging queue options. And so I did a little research into NATS, and I just wanted to share some of what I found. Um, NATS is uh, a messaging queuing, like I was talking about. And one of the things, too, there's two really good selling points that I loved about NATS, and I want to talk about that. And the first one was simply ease of use and configuration. So I started messing with Kafka and RabbitMQ, and there is a ton of configuration stuff you guys got to mess with. I mean, Kafka, trying to look that was like crossing my eyes. And so what I've done, I've downloaded from the website I was just looking at, you can go to nas.io, you go to the download page, and you get your version that you want. And I've literally, once I've downloaded it for Windows, all I have to do is run that, and I'm running. Now, I wrote a little, I use .NET, so I wrote a little couple of WinForm application, just as a little prototype to test this guy out. And the other thing that I really was impressed with with NATS is the performance. So what I've done here, I'm just going to blast out as much as I can, as fast as I can. I'm going to send messages to this guy on my local host machine, and I'm going to record measurements of tracking the time performance to four places, which will give me in the nanoseconds. Now, what we're looking at there, it's taking roughly... 24 microseconds to publish a message to Nats MQ, or I'm sorry, Nats IO on my local machine. That's pretty fast, and we're running 60 something thousand messages per second, one client, and as you can see, that would scale pretty good. This, I, I've, I've got even further uh, to, I've hit a million per second at one point. Um, it'll scale really good. Now that's on my local machine. Uh, something else that's also just fire and forget publishing, if you need like, guaranteed deliveries, you can do that with like a request reply pattern. And uh, I'm going to show you that real quick. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go over here, I'm going to change this to a subscriber on my local host machine, and I've got my queue set up, which is what I'm listening on, and then my group tells me it's a, a competing consumers. And so I'm going to start a subscriber, and that guy's listening now on my local host. And uh, my publisher, I'm putting it on throughput, so as much as I can, I'm checking this guaranteed delivery box. And I'm going to see how much I can get through per second. Now, it's quite a bit less, but I'm running 7,000 plus per second, okay? And it's time for me to go home. All right, and I'm still running, if you'll notice that, less than one millisecond complete round trip time. That's going all the way to my localhost server, to the subscriber, back to localhost, and back to my publisher in less than a millisecond. That's fast. So now, uh, let's take that even further. So the next thing you might be wondering is, what's that look like if you start adding in networking? So I'm going to go over here to uh, a Debian server that I set up on the network. It's in my local area network. And again, talking through how easy NATS is to run. Earlier, I was running it on Windows. Now I'm just running it on Debian. Same thing. And I'm actually going to be running this with TLS encryption. Notice right here, about four lines down, it tells us TLS is required. And so I'm going to switch over here, change my listen on this guy. So now I'm subscribed over there. Again, I'm going to switch this and... One minute warning. No problem. Actually, I'm going to... I'm going to flag it with red if we go over four milliseconds one way. <coughs> now... I am listening through a remote server. It's not quite the speeds it was on my local host, but I'm actually, again, doing a complete round trip request reply, going from my machine to the server in the network, back to my machine on the subscriber, back to the server, and then again back to my publisher. So a complete trip. And I'm doing that in less than two milliseconds completed. Um, I don't know that I'll have time to show you this, but I'm actually, that includes serialization using JSON. So I'm passing JSON. Um, I'm passing an object in, I'm serializing it down to JSON, actually all the way to bytes, passing the bytes across and back. And uh, all of that in less than two milliseconds. So it's very high performance. 
I wanted to show that to you guys just to kind of drop a bug in some people's ears that maybe think RabbitMQ is the only option or Kafka if it's fast. Um, definitely go out and check out nats.io. Thank you, David.